We now react to the Premier League clubs voting against scra scrapping VAR next season. Now, you know, it's been widely known. Wolves have, were the club that, um, you know, initially, we talked about this a few weeks ago, but today the voting happened. Wolves were the club that initially came out and wanted to scrap VAR for next season. They, you know, they came out with some some valid reasons, some valid explanation. One of the main ones saying um, for the uh, for the inefficiency of it, for how much time it takes, for the you know the lack of accuracy despite VAR, the amount of time that's being wasted, and the rhythm, the rhythm getting the flow of the rhythm getting uh, getting uh, ruined of a game was just not worth it. Because there was no really increase in accuracy, which I, I agree with that statement. Now, did I agree with completely scrapping VAR? I don't think so. Because, again, you know, you want to give the referees some sort of chance. You don't just want some, you know, because sometimes there's some just generally referees that make human mistake. And you just don't want to let them go ungo and just let it let, let, let human mistake freely happen, you know, because... Let's, let's, you know, VAR, despite a lot of the issues with it, VAR has gotten things right, though. There have been certain moments that, you know, there's been an offsides that a referee missed or there's been a clear penalty a referee missed and VAR came in and did his job. And, you know, it's done a good job protecting referees at certain points. Now, there's been other times that it's gone horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. And it seems like that's all that we hear about. But, you know, VAR has definitely been a positive too in certain areas, in certain times. Not all the time, but in certain times. But we just don't really hear about it because, you know, we really want to focus on the negatives of VAR. Now, Wolves, they've been on, you know, they've been on the end of a lot of bad VAR decisions this season. So, you know, I guess I sympathize with them wanting to, um, wanting to, you know, get it scrapped. Um... And they came out, they actually came out with an interesting statement. While we are, this is the Wolves, um, through their PR team. While we are disappointed with the outcome of the vote on the future of VAR, at today's annual general meeting, we acknowledge and accept the decision made by our fellow clubs. And we are reassured that the Premier League is taking the concern of club and supporters seriously. We welcome the commitment to improve VAR, particularly in areas that address delays, consistency, and fan experience. Sorry about that. While we still believe that Premier League football would be superior for supporters, players, coaches, and viewers without VAR, we think that these improvements are crucial for the integrity of the game and for enhancing the overall match day experience for our supporters. Wolves remain committed to working closely with the Premier League and PGMOL to ensure that VAR continues to evolve and better serve the interests of football. We appreciate the efforts being made to address the issues that we have highlighted in our resolution and look forward to seeing whether the changes implemented this summer can reverse the decline in match day experience for our fans and respect for our officials. Now, the voting was not close. The voting was 19 clubs to one, and we will assume that the one club that voted was Wolves against it. So 19 clubs to one. And keep in mind, you know, it's not more than 50%. 14 of the 20 clubs need to vote in favor of it. And the majority of, you know, and all the clubs were clear. They want to keep VAR, but they wanted, you know, improvements. And they wanted to change not not get rid of it as a whole and you know they came with some uh uh amendments to change it um uh the premier league and uh, the the pgml they you know they've stated the improvements that are going to be made or that are needed to make you know to bet to make the game better first of all in october which is weird, why not from the beginning of the season, but in October, they're gonna introduce semi-automated offsides technology. Um, that, you know, they're gonna, you know, with that, they're gonna try to reduce the time it takes to, you know, check offsides. And they're gonna make announcements within the stadium, 
when a when a decision is changed, you know, because of a VAR decision. They also are adding this high threshold or high threshold to intervene and change something. Um, or they're not adding that, but they're you know they're emphasizing it, overemphasizing it because they they've had that in kind of, but they don't believe it's been high enough. Um, and they want to improve how the fans understand what's going on at, with VAR, making the decisions, announcing them in the stadium, and offering you know you know replays on the, you know the the jumbotrons, the big screens when um, when a VAR uh, decision is being made. Now um, you know, and they and then the most importantly, I think this is for me. This is what most importantly, they came out and talked about working with the PGMOL. To create a more, you know, more thorough and robust training experience for any VAR official to improve the quality of calls being made and improving the length of time it takes to make a call while keeping everything accurate, which it hasn't been up to this point. But while keeping it, while making it accurate, they want to improve on how fast it is and they want to keep it consistent. They also want better communication from the VAR officials th through the fourth officials and the referee. And, you know, they're thinking about adding certain, like, you know, certain extra programs, like, you know, micing up the referees, which is very, very interesting. Um, all this is, you know, sounds good, but at the end of the day, it, you know, it's all talk of nothing is actually implemented and we, this needs to be implemented. I said uh, a few weeks ago, the VAR does not need to be scrapped, but, the way it's implemented needs to be thoroughly, thoroughly changed. And I'm very, you know, and I'm very clear on that. It has to be changed. There's, there's no way they could do it. The calls, some of the calls that were missed this season is horrible. You know, that offsides Liverpool had against Tottenham, the Luis Diaz incident, you know, that's clear as day. You know, you can't have video assistant referee and miss a call like that. You can't, like... To call something offsides that's not offsides and to and to not change it, you can't make that kind of decision. No, with the video assistant referee, you have to. Now the speed. Look, obviously, I don't want the flow of games being interrupted, but I think the number one right now, the Premier League are in a, you know they're in a position where, let alone the speed, they're not even getting things accurately. Let alone the speed. Now I've not been, you know, my concern has you know never been the speed obviously i don't want the game to be slowed down and i want the flow to continue but my biggest concern when it comes to var is the lack of accuracy for let for you know the speed is also a problem don't get me wrong but it's the accuracy that's a bigger problem for me when you're missing calls now obviously the speed and how long it takes to make a decision and the flow getting interrupted now that's something that does need to eventually get improved but i think you got to take steps in a time when it comes to improving certain things and I think the main thing to improve is accuracy within within the decisions being made I think there has to be a massive massive improvement when it comes to that now you know you know they did come out they did come out with a six you know a six set plan on how to improve VAR I said you know some of them but I'm gonna replay the, I'm gonna say them again so this is they, they said they want to you know create a high threshold for VAR to come in and to make a decision, you know, they don't, you know, they want fewer interruptions in terms of how the game flows. So they want to have like, they, you know, it needs to be like clear and obvious kind of in different ways. They want to have a higher threshold. They want to reduce the amount of times that the game is getting delayed. Um, and, you know, semi audit offside technology is going to help with that. And, 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 and they want to continue to make, you know, keep a high threshold for VAR intervention to reduce the amount of delays, number two. Number three, they wanna improve the fans' experience, including the fans within the stadium by, you know, obviously uh, lowering the delays, but specifically making announcements within the stadiums from the referees when something is VAR, very similar to what they do at the NFL. Uh, pass interference with this guy, with this guy, or even the NBA to a certain extent. They want to do that within the game, and they want the referees to say something through to the stadium while making the call. You kind of saw that at the Women's World Cup. 
um, which was a little bit awkward because, you know, the referee would say red card coming for 42, okay? And then, then she'll just, you know, they'll give the red card to... Uh, I, don't, I wasn't a, you know, a big fan of that. Maybe announce the decision after you give like a card or something like that. But then again, I, I see why, you know, it's a good way to, you know, improve the stadium experience. Number four, I uh, think, is they want to work with the PGMOL to create more uh, uh, better training for VAR uh, officials to improve the accuracy within the decisions and they want to increase the speed um, while keeping accuracy. Um, and get, they want to increase the trans. Uh, number five, they want to increase the transparency and communication that's going on with VAR, including um, you know, you know, creating communication from you know the the Premier League match center all the way to the broadcasters, um, you know, using like potential like miking up the referees, and then the last one is um, uh, the delivery of a fan and uh, stakeholder VAR communication campaign, which will help uh, clarify, you know, what's VAR, what VAR is supposed to do in soccer to potential fans and, uh, and to people participating in the game. So, yeah, I mean, it seems like they have some sort of plan. Now, whether or not they implement it, that's the whole different conversation.